Unua ticket kule Hong Kong. So you have to call Hong Kong. Lazima upige simu kule Hong Kong. And I was trying to reach the person in Hong Kong. And the person said it's very complicated to change your plane ticket. And then I prayed to God. I said, God, you're almighty. You can do all things. Please help me. And and then I went up to the counter and asked the person in charge can you make a phone call for me and find out what can be done the person said the plane has left I cannot do anything I said can you just try to make a phone call and I prayed to God for a miracle and she made a phone call and then she said amazing the plane has come back. The plane could not take off. And so I can enter the plane when it takes off again. What I want to tell you is if you love God and obey God God will make things happen for you when I was not on the plane the plane could not take off later I asked the people what happened in the plane and then one person said the plane just could not take off they tried and tried and finally they came back so I see that do you see that God helps those who follow God can you see that when you follow God God will help you. Now this time when I came, everything happened. It was just yesterday. It was just yesterday. What happened was when I I booked the ticket, when I bought the ticket. I thought that when I transfer from when I fly from uh, Nairobi to Kisumu. Kisumu is a short is a short distance. I forgot how to go through immigration. I forgot how to take out the luggage and then go to the next plane. All those things take time. When I booked the ticket, I only allow 50 minutes. I thought it would be okay, you know, I just walk over to that other gates. When I went to the uh, airport in Hong Kong, they already told me, you might not have enough time, you might miss the plane. So I was thinking about that all the way here. And I prayed to God. Please help me. Please open the way for me. So I can fly to Kisumu. On time. And then without paying much money. When I arrived at Nairobi. What happened was. The plane just stopped you know, in an airport. And said that they have to wait for a tow truck. They have to wait for a tow truck. A truck to pull the plane to the gates. Oh, I was waiting for a long time. It could be 45 minutes. I only have 15 minutes. So I 
So by the time I what came, you know, the plane has already left. Wakati alitoka alipata already ndege imetoka. So I went to the counter and talked to the man. Alirudi tena kwa ule mhusika akaongea na yeye. I said the plane has waited for a long time for the tow truck. Alisema kwamba ndege imeongezea kwa muda sana kwa kuondoka kule kugari. So I missed the plane. Alikosa ile ndege. And then he said akasema Okay, you can find the next plane, no charge. Kwaibu unaweza pata ndege ingine bila malipo. Normally, I have to pay a lot of money. Eh, 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 bila kutambua kwa bange, tajika kulipa pesa mingi. But he said, Kwaibu akasema, Because the plane has been delayed waiting for the tow truck. Kwaibu akasema, ndege imechelewesha kwa ajili ya ile itilafu. So it's not my fault. Kwaibu ni makosa yake. It's the fault of the airplane ticket. It's the fault of the airplane. Ni makosa ya ndege. So he said, no charge. You just find the next plane. Kwa hivya kasema, hakuna tena malipo tena ni bure. I also got a free breakfast. Kwa hivya kapata tena kia mshakinyo cha bure. We'll pay for you a free for a free ticket, free breakfast for you. Tutakulipia tiketi, pia breakfast, tutapata bure. Is that amazing? Kiyo ni akushangaza? Now, I don't want to go through troubles again. But I want to tell you, when you follow Jesus, and love Jesus, and put your life in the hand of God, you will find God's help many, many times in your lifetime. Do you believe that? Do you rely on God? Do you want to obey God? And love God? And I hope that you all say, God is the best thing that will happen to me. Say it. God is the best thing that can happen to me. Mungu ni kitu kizuri kinacho weza kufanyo katika maisha yao. When I have God, I have everything. Wakati ni na mungu ni kona kila kitu. Amrudi. Now I know that many of you live in difficult families. Najua wengi wenu mnaishi katika familia za ufukara. I know that also life in Kenya is difficult. Najua pia maisha katika Kenya ni magumu. You might say it's too difficult for me. Unaweza sema kwamba ni magumu sana upande wa. I won't have a good future. Najua uko na mbeleni maisha mbeleni mazuri. I want to tell you. Nataka kuelezea. God really loves you. Mungu kweli anakupenda. I want to bless you. Na nataka kukubariki. Now for many people the big problem is in the family and with the friends and in the school, they have, you know, other people mistreat them. Wakati mwingi watu wengi katika familia marafiki shuleni wanakupitishia katika hali ishio tamlika au ishio eshimika. So many of you might be unhappy. Mbekine wengine wenu muneza kuwa hamuna furaha. You might say, I don't feel happy. Muneza sema mimi sina furaha. Because people are not nice to me. Kwa sababu watu wameremeka sana. People yell at me. Watu wanansikiria wimu. People hurt me. Watu wananchukia. So I don't feel happy. Kwa hivyo si furahi maisha. I hope that you know that. Nina tumaya kwamba unajua hiyo. God can heal you. Mungu ya neza kuponya. You know when I was young, unajua wakati nilikuwa kijana, when my stepmother came, wakati mama wakamba nikukuta, she yells at us, she yelled at us. Ali ali wakemea, and I start to have bad dreams. Kwa hivyo akaleta zile ndoto mbaya, and I start to walk in my dream. Akaanza kutembea katika ndoto ndoto yake. And one time, the most terrible time. Wakati, wakati moja munda, wakati mbaya sana. I was in college years later. Sorry. I was in college years later. Ali kuwa katika chuo munda wiliyo pita. And I had a very bad dream. Ali pata ndoto mbaya. This is the worst dream in my life. Ili ndoto mbaya katika maisha yangu. I was building a wall. Ali kuwa na jenga ukuta. But when I finished the wall, na wakati alimaliza ukuta, I found that I was standing inside the wall. 
So it was all dark around me. Do you understand me? I built a wall in front of me. I was inside the wall. So I was afraid. And I hit the wall. And then I actually hit the wall of the school. And the wall was not like this. The wall was soft. And when I hit the wall, I made a hole in the wall. And the student next door came to my room. Na wanafunzi katika upande mwingine waliingia katika chumba chake. And bang at the door. Wakaanza kugonga mlango. I opened the door. Wakafungua mlango. He said to me, "Wakamwambi, did something happen to you while you bang at the wall?" Kuna kitu kinatendeka na wewe kwa nini unagonga gonga ukuta? I tell you, that was how bad my dream was. Na yanakuambia kwamba hivyo ndivyo Let me ask you. What are you How many of you have bad dreams? Raise your hand. Wangapi wamekuwa na ndoto zile mbaya? How many of you have bad dreams sometimes? Wangapi ambapo wameweza kuwa na ndoto mbaya? Tafadhali ongea. Then you were afraid in the dreams. Can you raise your hand? Na wakashangazwa na ile ndoto ambayo uliweza kuwa. Then you were chased by someone. Ulifukuzwa pengine na mtu. Then you were afraid. Uli uli ulishangazwa au ulizunishwa. Maybe you saw ghost. Uliona pepo. Maybe you were Beaten by someone, or someone yelled at you, mtu alikukemea, or you were unhappy. Begina huku fresh. If you have bad dreams, raise your hand. Tafadhali ilimu mkoni wapu mechai ona ndoto kama hizi. Raise your hand if you have any bad dreams. Tafadhali ilimu mkoni wapu mekuwa na ndoto mbaya kama hizi. Okay, so you see many people have bad dreams. Oh, now now what do you want to do tomorrow? Let me ask you a second question. What are you going to do with your life? Are you sometimes unhappy? What are you going to do with your life? If you are sometimes unhappy, please raise your hand. Begin. What are you going to do with your life? Tap that little one. You know, many people live unhappy lives. When you know when to have a nice, messy, messy, messy life. Do you want to be happy? You want to have a good life? But many people say it's too difficult. But let me tell you, God can help you. And this morning, I will talk about how you can have joy the Lord. And how you can learn not to be affected by people who hurt you. Jizi ambayo unaweza kuza kwa dharika na watu ambao wanakuchukia. And this will help you greatly. Na hii itakusaidia katika maisha yako. Okay, the first thing is how can you have the joy of the Lord? Jizi gani unaweza kuwa na furaha ya Bwana? When you wake up in the morning, wakati unaamka asubuhi, you know that God is around you. Mungu yuko karibu na wewe. God is in front of you and behind you. Mungu yuko mbele yako na nyuma yako. And God is laying his hand upon you. Mungu anakuwekea mikono juu yako. God is blessing you. Mungu anakubariki. So when you wake up you say can say, wakati unaamka asubuhi unaweza sema, God is loving me. Mungu ananipenda. Now you say it to, together with me. Now can you stand up together? Stand up together. Raise your hand up to God. God is loving me. God is with me. God is standing in front of me. Behind me. You can turn the camera around. God is now close your eyes. God is caring for me. God is a wonderful plan in my life. God likes me. God is wonderful. I'm loved by God. I can be happy. I can be happy. There's a prayer. Yes. Jesus and I pray. Jesus, 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 Jesus loves me. Oh, ha 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 ha
asubuhi unapoamka you can read the bible una unasoma sheria god is loving me na useme mungu ananipenda now let us close our eyes now wacha tufunge macho yetu tafadhali and enjoy god now na tufurahie yesu think of jesus eh fikiria kuhusu yesu close your eyes raise your hand na unyoshe mikono yesu is loving me mungu ananipenda Jesus is loving me. Yes, I really enjoy God. Now I'm praying everyone. God is with me. Mungu yu pamoja nami. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. God is with me. Mungu yu pamoja nami. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. I need you Jesus. Na kuitaji Yesu. I want Jesus. Na kutaka Yesu. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Yesu Yesu Asante Yesu Yesu Asante Yesu and enjoy God now pray Okay, now what I want to say is, it's a matter of that we say, Masasa. Many of us may be unhappy. We you went to begin there to be fanaiga. Maybe you have been hurt by people. Ume adirika na kutoka na watu wengi. Maybe there were evil spirit that attacked you. Begin and go to my people to make you shake. But don't worry. Usiyani. Jesus loves you. Yesu ana kupenda. Jesus will set you free. Yesu ata kuweka huru. Your life will go higher and higher. Maisha yako tendele kuna wengi. Now, just now we talk about how we can enjoy God. So when we declare God is loving us. Wakati tunatangaza kwamba Yesu anatupenda. God is with us. Mungu yuko pamoja nasi. God is blessing us. Mungu anatubariki. The Holy Spirit came down and and try to set free, set the girl free. Roho Bwana ameenda kushuka na kuanza kuweka watu huru. You know when we praise God every day. Wakati ambapo tunamsifu Bwana kila wakati. And declare that God is loving us. Na tunatangaza kwamba Bwana anatupenda. The Holy Spirit will come upon us. Roho Bwana anakuja ndani wetu. So I hope you all wake up kwa hivyo kila mmoja anasimama. They say I need Jesus. Anasema nampenda Bwana. Cry out I need Jesus. Anamhitaji Bwana. Jesus loves me. Yesu ananipenda. Say it. Sema hivyo. Yesu ananipenda. Jesus will set me free. Yesu ataniweka huru. Jesus loves me. Yesu ananipenda. And he has all power na mwenye nguvu. And he can help me. Na naweza nisaidie. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. I love you Jesus. Nakupenda Yesu. I need you Jesus. Nakuitaji Yesu. I want you Jesus. Nakutaka Yesu. I need Jesus. Nakuitaji Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So every day you do this. Kila siku unapofanya hii. So every day you do that. Kila siku ukifanya hivyo, the Lord will bring healing to you. Bwana ataleta uponyaji ndani mwako. Bring joy to you. Na ataleta furaha ndani mwako. When you relax. Wakati unakulia. Ha ha ha. Na mzima. God is so good. Mungu ni mzuri. God cares about me. Anajali my joy God. Naweza furahia Bwana. Be more and more free. Na utakuwa huru huru kabisa. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. I love you Jesus. Nakupenda Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I want to talk about then how can you take care of people who hurt you? Nataka kuzungumzia jinsi ambavyo unaweza jali watu ambao wanakuchukia. Uh, would you go over there? Close the door or tell them not to be so noisy. 
Now, is that the right way? Is that the right way? But then I'm in Jianzuri. Is that the right way? Tell me. No. Oh, sorry. You in Jianzuri? I'm in Yanli. You in Jianzuri? And that is why in this world there is so much suffering. You must have a good union. You know, my day so many. Because people have a lot of anger. Let me ask you this. Is anger something good? No, it's not good. Now, when people misuse the anger, it is like garbage. Can you give me some dirt from the ground there? Tell, tell me. Oh, go, go get me some dirt. You know, when people misuse their anger, when people have anger, when people have anger, Dirt on the ground, the dirt. Okay, okay, okay. 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 I see, I see, I see. Okay, okay. Oh. And not, not the branches, the dirt. Yeah, okay. yeah, okay. Just a piece, a piece is fine. Yeah, you Okay, thank you. Okay, just a piece. Thank you. Okay. Do you eat this? Do you like this? Unapenda hiki? Unakula? Do you like it? Unayipenda? No. Let me ask you. Wacha ni kulizi. When people have anger, wakati watu wanaashira na watu wengine, when they hate people, wakati wanachukia wengine, it's like garbage. Ni kama hii takataka. Do you want to eat it? Do you want to eat this anger? Unataka kukula hiki? Do you want to eat the anger? Unataka kukula hiki? That is something not good, right? Nikito majo shikizuri. When it's something not good, we have to learn to turn it off. Wakati kito shikizuri tunaitai jukuki yonare ambali. Now let us read this Psalm 138, verse 6. Wacha nishumuzi Psalm 138. Oh, Psalm 118, verse 6. Oh, Psalms 118. Verse six. Psalms one eight one one eight one hundred and eighteen. Verse six. Psalms. Okay. There it says, "The Lord is with me; I will not be afraid." What can mere mortals? What can people do to me? Buana, buana, you pamoja nami. Sita babaika. Na yote, na akuna yote abaya na yaza tenda kinyume chamu. What this verse says is that if someone tries to hurt us, wakati mtu anajaribu kukuumiza, they cannot really hurt us. Hawawezi kukuumiza because the Lord is for me. Kwa sababu Mungu ni wangu, I will not be afraid. Sita baba Ishwa. Now remember the story of Joseph. Kumbuka historia ya Yusuf. Joseph was sold by his brothers to Egypt. Yusuf aliuzwa na nuku zake katika kule Misri. Do you remember Joseph? His brothers were jealous of him. Unakumbuka Yusuf nuku zake walikuwa na uivu kumuzu. And sold him to Egypt. Waliuzwa kule Misri. Now, let me ask you. Let wacha ni kuulize. If someone sold you to another place, will you be very unhappy? Utafuraia. Now people would be very unhappy. Watu watafuraia. But Joseph had faith in God. Yusuf alikuwa na imani katika Bwana. He continued relationship with God. Aliendeleza uhusiano wake na Mungu. And then he said in Genesis 15, verse 20. There it says that he said to his brothers. He said to his brothers. Sorry? He said to his brothers. Uh -huh. Would you would someone go down and tell them not to yell? Don't, don't, don't yell, don't yell. Say it gently. Say it gently. They're going to say it in Jesus' name, come out. They don't have to yell. What's your name? Look at the king of the Jews. Look at the king of the Jews. Look at the king of the Jews. Okay, now, here. He said to his brothers. He said to his brothers. 
you intended to harm me but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done the saving of many souls please tell them and tell them that the recording in Okay, now. Now Joseph had faith in God. He was sold by his brothers. Most people would complain to God. And say, God, why did you do that to me? Why didn't you save me? But God has a better plan. These brothers want to sell him. But God has a better plan. So when he was sold to Egypt, he served a master. But Joseph had faith in God. And Joseph had a close relationship with God. And God's power was strong upon him. And then the master liked him very much. And made him the housekeeper. So everywhere he went, Joseph was accepted by the people. And then he became the prime minister. Let me tell you, when I was young, I was yelled by my stepmother many times. And many times I felt very unhappy. Now, my relationship with her is good. After I became a Christian, I wanted to treat her nicely. And now, you know, she likes me very much too. But when I was young, she yelled at me a lot. And I felt difficult. But after I became a Christian, I know that God is a wonderful player in my life. So when she yelled at me, I did not take it seriously. I take her yelling to be garbage. She is not garbage. She is not garbage. But she has been hurt by people in the past. She was hurt by my father too. Because my father gambled a lot. And my father had different women. So she took all these parts and she was very unhappy. And so she yelled at us and make it difficult for us. But after I became a Christian, I say this is garbage. I don't want to eat it. I don't want to take it. I don't want to think about what she said to me. I don't think have to think about her yelling. I just think of Jesus. You know, this is the key. Now, have you seen a crazy man before? Have you, have you heard? Have you heard of crazy people? Have you heard, how many of you have heard of crazy people? 
tangamana na wale wenda wazimu wale ambao wako na upungufu wa kiakili kwa ngapi okay now if a crazy people yell at you wakati mwenda wazimu anakukemea one time i was crossing the street siku moja nilikuwa napita katika mji there was a crazy man that crossed the street also tulikuwa na mwenda wazimu ule upande mwingine wa barabara and he did not know me he did not know me hakumuelewa hakumjua when he was crossing the street facing me wakati alikuwa na vuka barabara akimwangalia he did this to me alifanya hivi kwake he look at me alimwangalia and he go akavona now he was crazy alikuwa mwenda wazimu i did not know him sikumuelewa do i have to take it seriously na hitaji kuchukulia kiuzito Do I have to eat the garbage? Nasayo kula hiyo takataka? So I said, that is his problem. Hiyo ndio shida yake. Hiyo ndio shida yake. Now say it with me. That is his problem. Ongea na mimi. Hiyo ndio shida yake. He has been hurt by people. Amekuwa kishaidia watu. Say it together. Tuoke pamoja. So he has been hurt by people and he hurts me. Alikuwa anasaidia watu lakini anamchukia. I don't have to take it seriously. Sitaji kuchukulia kiuzito hai. I can let go. Naweza hata aende. I can forget about it. Naweza sahau kuyahusu. Now this is what I want to say to you. If someone yells at you, mtu akikupigia makelele. Now if I'm wrong, unajipata vibaya. I'll say I'm sorry. Unasema kwamba oh, but if, it's, but if it's not my fault, but lakini si kwa makosa yangu, he just is anger ni kwa sababu ya hasira yake. I don't have to feel bad. Sitaki kuhuzunika tena because God loves me. Kwa sababu Mungu ananipenda. God has a wonderful plan in my life. Kwa sababu Mungu ni wa ajabu maishani mwangu. Now one time, wakati mmoja, there was a person uh, kulikuwa na mtu who does not accept the work of the Holy Spirit. Hakuelewa utendakazi wa roho wa Bwana. And there was a pastor who accepts the work of the Holy Spirit. And this pastor introduced me to this man. And asked me to pray for this man. And then one day, this man said he knows another pastor. And then I said, maybe I'll go to meet this pastor akasema pengine angependa kwenda kuwa mhubiri wao and maybe arrange meetings for me maybe arrange meetings for me eh eh pengine alete baraka ndani mwa and then i went to this other pastor akaenda kwa ule mchungaji mwingine and i told the pastor what i did akamwambia kila ambacho alifanya i said i revive people's spiritual life akasema ana and I revived churches and then we came back this man was not happy he asked his pastor to take this pastor to me and he said to me do you think you are so great that you can revive the pastor's church he has many people in that church do you think you can do a better job than he and he kept saying this to me I did not mean to say I am greater than that pastor but this pastor could not understand that people can bring revival to spiritual life so he kept talking to me in a negative way but when I heard that 
I know this person doesn't accept the work of the Holy Spirit. Nilijua nilielewa kwamba huyu mtu haelewi utendakazi wa Roho Mtakatifu. And what he said is like garbage. Na kila alisema ni kama takataka. I don't have to take it. Sihitaji tena kuichukua. So I look at him. Eh nikamwangalia. I was not angry. Eh nikashikwa na hasira. I just listened to him. Nikatulia tu kumsikiliza. And I responded to him in a polite, polite way. Nika nika mtibu katika njia ya upole. After he finished talking, baada ya kumaliza kuongea, I blessed him. Nilimbariki and then he left. Akaondoka. And then the pastor said to me, Mchungaji naye akasema, Pastor Yip, eh mchungaji Yip, you are really great. Wewe ni mkubwa. When you talk negative to to you, you did not take it at all. How could you You were not angry. I said to him, because I don't have to take negative words. What he said is negative. I don't have to take it seriously. So I'm telling you, Maybe in your home, begin in your in your school, katika shuleni, or when you are with other people, wakati una watu wengine. Some people will yell at you. Watu watakelea or make you feel unhappy. Watakufanya uisi vibaya or beat you. Eh wakutune. And then you feel very unhappy. Unajiisi vibaya. I want to